What do you mean? She's threatening you? What do you mean? I told Abuela that uh, your child and I wanted you back and that we were going to get you back, too. But she, she didn't like the sound of that. In fact, in fact, she pretty much told me that if I kept it up, it could seriously affect my health. Abuela? Uh, I am very sorry if Michelle heard the concern of a grandmother for her grandson as a threat. I guess I must have misinterpreted everything. All right, all you right, see, all right. You see how she speaks to me? You see that? I mean, it's so... What's the word? Paranoid. To imagine the worst of people. You know, that's the reason that you've always had trouble with our family. Maybe well, I have too good a memory. Michelle, please. You know, anyway, I, 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 I'm just going to retire myself. You know, I don't want Danny to be upset by such foolishness as this. So I will. Well, uh, it's, right. it's all right. It's all right. I've had enough. I'll come find you later. What's the deal? Huh? You know, anything to do today? You know, you'd come here and create problems for me? You know that's not so. No, I don't. My day was going just fine, Michelle, until I walked in here and I saw you and Abuela going at it. I didn't come here to pick a fight with her. If she's going to get all bent out of shape about a simple statement of truth, that's her business. That statement of truth being what? That I'm going to be with you again? You are, because we both know we belong together. Please, please, just stop with that. And quit making trouble for me. It's, this, this is exactly the kind of stuff that drives me crazy, what, Michelle. What, the truth? Baiting my grandmother. She can take it. Or is it that you're afraid she's going to hurt me? Is that it? No, 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 no. Because you couldn't stand to be part of a family where your own grandmother threatens the mother of your child. Are you, are you trying to pick a fight with me now, too? I'm just running a little low on patience. Look. I'm trying to make some changes around here business-wise, but it's going to take time, and it's going to take a lot of goodwill, of which there has not been a whole hell of a lot lately, and when you keep popping up in here, unexpected, stirring up trouble... It doesn't help. Right, just the opposite. I just don't see what's wrong with me telling Maria what I want and how I feel. You just don't do that, Michelle, not with... Not with what? Go on, finish your sentence. With, with, with what? Not with uh, these people, not with the Santoses. Is that, that what you're going to say? No. Bull. What is your problem? Why can't you just back off? Because I love you. <sighs> I, I, I didn't come here to do this with you. Then what did you come here for? Valentine's Day. I was hoping to see you on Valentine's Day to give you this, but, uh, you didn't come by the house, so, uh, here. It's, it's a gift from me and the baby. Oh, it's a pretty skinny box of candy, don't you think? We, uh, had a new portrait come the other day. It's the latest sonogram. I, I wanted you to have it. Yep. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> you see, this is why I'm so sure about everything. But we're not so different that we can't make a child together. And when you look at what we've created, so much love, despite everything, I just know that there's nothing that we can't overcome together. When a man goes without for too long, it always brings trouble. 
when a man is uh, the head of a family, then the trouble affects the entire family. See, si, abuela, <clears throat> why don't you just come right out? Say what's on your mind. I thought I did. Oh, yes, you did. Does this have something to do with the little run-in you had with Michelle the other day? A run-in? Mm -hmm. We were very civil. She said you threatened her. No. All I did was point to her that you were unhappy and she was the cause. What, what's so untrue about that? I murdered my mother, Abuela, if anything drives me these days. I think it's that. So, Carmen's to blame for these dangerous decisions that you made? Dangerous. Dangerous? How? How? I think it is good business to move this family in a direction that fits the times. Ah, in the direction that maybe is favored by Michelle. That's not the reason. Mira, lie to me if you must. But don't lie to yourself. As I see it, I'm doing my best to run this family. Obviously, you have some great need to tell me how you see it. <laughs> You're so much like your father. A good man. Mira, Michelle comes back to Springfield carrying your child, and you feel responsible for her. No, we're, no, we're divorced, Abuela. I, I need, see, see, but let, let me finish. Let me finish. This decision you are making, it's not for Pilar or Tony or me. If it were, you wouldn't put us at risk from the other families by doing this computer thing that they don't trust. Computer thing. You see, see you, you have this dream that someday you'll go to Michelle and say, I am free. Huh? And somehow, she'll say yes uh, and marry you again. You see? But, but the tragedy will be that you'll still not be able to satisfy her. But you will keep on trying and trying until you destroy yourself and us. Through no fault of Michelle's. She is who she is. You are who you are. Accept it. Life is cruel. I would give my life for you if necessary, but this I cannot give you. I beg you, stop doing this before you destroy us all.